Hi, I'm Bart Polson, and in this movie, I want to show you how to work with comments in Google Docs. Now, Google Docs is a great way of sharing information and collaborating and working together, and something that we're going to be using frequently. And comments is one of the best ways of sharing the information uh, in that sense. Now, what I want you to do is start by going to Canvas and to the pages right here on the side. And one of the pages we have is for the online textbook. And uh, right here I have the table of contents for my behavioral science class, and I have a, a hyperlink here for the first chapter in the book, and that's 01, Introduction to Statistics and Research. And if you click on that link, it'll open up Google Docs. Now, it's going to look a little different on mine because I, uh, I wrote this and I have editing to it. But you see how it popped it open? I'm going to go to a different browser where I'm not logged in, and... This shows what it would look like for you. You see here that it is, um, you can comment, uh, but you don't have all the toolbars and everything. To make a comment, what you need to do is just select some text you want. I'll select right, right here. And then you can either go up to Insert, Comment, or you can do the, uh, the key, camp, uh, key commands. I'm on a Mac, so that would be Option, Command, M. Uh, I think it's Control, M. Control Option M on a uh, Windows PC. But you just uh, select that and then it pops up. Now, right now it says anonymous because I'm not logged in on this browser. Um, however, I would like you to be logged in to your Google Docs account when you open this. And then instead of saying anonymous, it'll actually say your name on it. But I'm going to make a little comment here. I'm going to go. Just write the comment. Now, if you just press return, it's going to add another line. That's not what you want. You want to add. You will just want to click right here with the mouse on the word comment, and that posts the comment. And so that's there now. Now, the nice thing about Google Docs is that anybody else who's looking at this, this gets updated basically immediately. So I'm going to go back to my other browser, and you see here, now this is the one where I can edit. I have all the editing tools up here, um, and you can see that it, the comment is shown up here as anonymous. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want you to select some text. I want you to make a comment on it, although there is one other thing I want you to do. I'm going to come back to here, to this first one, and I'm going to click on the comment so I can edit it. And I do want you to put in uh, your name. Uh, well, your name's going to be on the top, but I want to make sure that you put in the, your class and your section number. So, for instance, here's for Behavioral Science 3010, Section 10. That makes it easier for me to keep track of stuff. So I'm going to press Save. Then I'll go back to the other browser. And you see how it's there already. Now, uh, me as the teacher, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and look at your comment. And I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to get to reply. No. That's me. And so now you see that we have this little uh, discussion thread here. And I have the option of editing or deleting my comment, but I do not have that for yours. On the other hand, once I do this, I'm going to mark credit. I want you to go back to where you are in the document, and you can simply do this. You can come right here, and you can click Delete once it's marked. So you just delete the entire thread. So I uh, press Delete again there. Now it's all gone. When I go back to the other browser, you see it's gone there too. Anyhow, uh, being able to place comments, to modify them, to respond directly to comments on there, and to resolve them or delete them. It's one of the great features of Google Docs, and that's part of one of our assignments.